Hi guys! Welcome po sa Hugusip na yan. This is Sir JB, your math kahugot. And welcome po sa ating channel. So para po sa ating video for today, I'm going to discuss to you about factoring by grouping. So guys, alamin po natin kung paano ang process nito. Okay, so we're going to have... Step on factoring by grouping. Now, we're going to use the greatest common factor. So, ito yung ginagamit natin guys kapag may polynomial tayo na apat ang term. So, ang gagawin po natin guys, so we're going to divide the two polynomial into two groups. Siyempre, with common factor. So, hanapin po natin yung common factor niya. Example, so, nalab tayong xy plus ay, we sa common natin ay y. We have a bx and ab, which is our common is b. So, ang gagawin po natin, ifa-factor natin yung common doon sa dalawang grupong nakuha natin. So, dito, since ang common natin guys ay yung y, tinanggal po natin si y. So, xy divided by y ay may x. So, ay divided by ay, kaya po a. So, dito naman sa kabila, b ang common. bx divided by b ay x. ab divided by b ay a. Ngayon, after natin gawin guys yon yung common factor niya, kung napapansin ninyo, yung x plus a, x plus a ay common doon sa dalawang term. Ngayon, siya naman po ang ilalabas natin. Pag nilabas natin yan guys, may isang y plus b times the quantity x plus a. So, yun po yung paraan guys. Napasimple. Step number one, kailangan yung polynomial ay igrupo mo into two groups with common factor. Step number two, hahanapin mo yung common factor. At i-divide mo syempre. Pag nasimplify mo, yun na yung factor ng iyong polynomial. Napakasimple po. Para sa ating next example, same thing tayo guys. So, we have b cubed plus 3b squared plus b plus 3. Now, same step guys tayo. Step number 1, igugrupo natin into two groups with common factor. We have b cubed plus 3b squared at saka b plus 3. So, ang common guys doon sa b cubed at plus 3b squared ay b squared. Samantalang sa b plus 3, wala namang common. Pero okay lang yun guys, magiging common niya ay 1 mismo, o yung term natin na 1. So dito, ang kinuha natin ay b squared, tas ang common sa kabila ay 1. Kung napasin nyo guys, lagi ang purpose natin ay makahanap ng common factor between the two groups. At kailan guys, yung matitira sa kanila kapag kinuha mo yung common factor ay parehas. So, ngayon, kung napasin nyo, nilabas si b squared doon sa first group natin, nilabas si 1 doon sa ating second group. At napasin ninyo, common na naman si b plus 3. Ngayon, si b plus 3, ilalabas po natin. Kaya meron tayong factor na b squared plus 1 at b plus 3. So, guys, tandaan nyo, lagi pong ilalabas yung common factor na yun. Kung napasin ninyo, yung pong ginawa natin sa ating problem. Lagi na labas natin yung common doon sa dalawa. Okay? So, that is factoring by grouping. Now, so, let's have our third example. So, nga pa sa ninyo, ginurupo ulit siya into two groups. So, we have x cubed plus x squared at saka 2x plus 2. Ngayon, nagawa tayo ngayon guys ang dalawang example para mas makita ninyo yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. Ngayon, ang finactor natin sa kabila naman, o ginurupo natin sa kabila ay x cubed plus 2x at x squared plus 2. So, magkaiba ang grupo, tignan natin kung parehas ang sagot. So, finactor natin dito guys, ay x squared. So, x cubed at x squared, kung tandaan nyo yung greatest common factor, may pinakamaba exponent niya ay x squared. Kaya po naging x squared x plus 1. Dinivide lang po natin. Dito ang common naman ay 2, kaya maging 2 times x plus 
So, on the other side, so x squared plus 2x, ang common natin ay x, times the quantity x squared plus 2, so, dinivide lang po ulit yung x, tapos ang common naman dito ay 1. Kung nakapasan ninyo, ang natira dito ay x plus 1, x plus 1, ang natira dito, x squared plus 2, x squared plus 2. So, parehas na tama ang ginawa natin. Ngayon, ilalabas natin parehas yung x plus 1 at x squared plus 2. At makukuha natin guys, yung parehas na sagot. Okay? So, pag nilipas natin dito, mag x squared plus 2, x plus 1. Ito naman ay x squared plus 2, x plus 1. Parehas lamang. Guys, regardless ng paggrupo mo, in grouping, as long as makukuha ka ng parehas na factor after mong alisin yung common factor, mayingin tama po ang inyong kasagutan. Okay? Now, ang factoring by grouping, guys, ay ginagamit, ginagamit din sa ibang paraan. For example, we're going to use difference of 2 square now. We have x squared minus y squared plus x plus y. Ngayon, yung x squared minus y squared, guys, ay consider natin as difference of 2 square. So, let's proceed with our first step muna. I-group muna natin siya into two terms. So, x squared minus y squared at saka x plus y. Ulitin ko ah, yung x squared minus y squared ay difference on 2 square. Ngayon, pwede natin siyang i-factor out. Pag pinactor out natin, naging x plus y, x minus y, plus x plus y. Anong common do sa dalawa nating grupo? Ang common na sa dalawang grupo natin ay yung x plus y. So, pag ginawa natin yung sinimplify natin siya maging x plus y, x minus y plus 1. Saan po nang ganyan yung 1 na yun? Kasi pag dinivide ko yung x plus y na to, dito sa dalawang term na to, may tira yung x minus y. Ito po yung x minus y na yun. Yung x plus y na isa, ito po yung 1. x plus y divided by x plus y is 1. Kaya po naging x plus y times the quantity x minus y plus 1. Kung nagdududa kayo sa ating nasagutan, pwede po kayong maglong multiplication para malaman nyo na tamang sagot natin. Now guys, ang factoring by grouping ay hindi lang ginagamitan nito. Ginagamitan nito ng perfect square trinomial. Ang factoring by grouping guys ay hindi lamang pwede sa greatest common factor, sa difference of two square, pwede rin po sa perfect square trinomial, general trinomial at iba pang uli ng factoring techniques. Kaya po guys, kailangan maalam kayo ng lahat ng yun bago matunan yung factoring techniques ng grouping. So we have an a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 49. So ginuro po natin siya, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared minus 49. Bakit ginuro po yung pinagsama-sama yung isa at nira na yung negative 49? Kasi po, perfect squared trinomial, yung a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Pag pinactor natin to, may isang a plus b squared. Tandaan guys natin ang kabaliktaran ng perfect square trinomial at ang square ng binomial. Kaya po tayo may a plus b squared. Kung naging a plus b squared siya guys, mapapatak siya na difference of 2 square ngayon. Pwede ka nang mag-factor. May isang minus a plus b minus 7 at a plus b plus 7. Kung medyo nalilito kayo, tingnan natin mabuti. Si a squared plus 2ab plus b squared ay perfect square trinomial. Pag pinactor nyo siya guys, magiging siyang a plus b, a plus b. Tapos yung minus 49. Since consider natin ito as is one term, para siyang may siyang a squared minus 49 kung isipin nyo mabuti. Kaya ang ginawa sa kanya, hinati siya from a plus b, ginawa siyang a plus b, a plus b ay may minus 49. Di ba pag may difference of 2 square, isang add at isang minus. Kaya napansin nyo dito, si negative 7, may minus 7, may plus 7. Doon ang galing yung factor natin. So guys, so that is factoring by grouping using perfect square trinomial. Alam kong medyo mahira, pero trial and error din po to. So ibig sabihin guys, the more you practice it, the more you learn the technique. 
kailangan po ma magkaroon kayo ng iba't ibang uri ng uh, module or worksheet na pwede nyo pag-aralan para mas matuto kayo sa ating given problem. So, recall po natin. So, steps in factoring by grouping. So, in using polynomial with four terms. So, arrange the terms in the first uh, two terms or last term with the common factor H. Kailangan po, pag ginuro po siya, may factor yung first group, may factor yung second group. At kapag tinanggal mo yung factor na yun, parehas dapat ang matitira sa kanilang binomial. So, pair each term using distributive property t, property, property to factor the greatest common factor. Yun nga yung nabanggit ko. Now, if there is any common factor, common binomial factor, aalisin mo po siya, lalabas mo. Ibig sabihin, if there's no common binomial factor, ibig sabihin guys, yung polynomial na binigay sa inyo ay hindi factorable by grouping. Okay? So, those are the four given rules when we are trying to factor polynomial with four terms. Thank you guys. I hope you learned something from this video. This is factoring by grouping. If you like this video, can like it and subscribe to my channel. And please, follow my page here, Behind Your Life TV, and my Hugot Sip na yan. I hope you learned something from this video. Ingat po, and God bless, at mabuhay po tayong lahat.